How are y'all doing everybody? What is up? My name is Mods Pop, and now today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get online for free with your RGH or GTAG consoles. And I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, or giving you guys uh, links to free stealth servers that you can use so you don't actually have to pay to get online. Um, other for KVs anyway, KVs are the only things you have to pay for for this tutorial. But anyway, first things first, I'm going to be showing you guys that I don't actually have a stealth server actually on. As you can see, I don't have any plugins that say or have any stealth server on it. Uh, but anyway, first things first, you want to go download a stealth server. I'm going to be linking you guys to XKOV or to Titan offline files. I'm going to be using the XKOV files considering I think they work a bit better in my opinion. But you can use either or. But anyway, what you want to do is extract the, uh, the files onto your desktop. And then once you have them extracted onto your desktop, you're going to want to use a USB or use Xbox 360 neighborhood and just simply transfer them to the uh, root of your hard drive, which is basically just your hard drive, the, the main root of it, the main, you know, spot for your hard drive if you don't know what root means. But anyway, once you have that on your hard drive, you're going to make sure you have an unbanned KV. Now, you don't need an unbanned KV. Uh, necessarily unless you want to go online like right away but if you just if you just want to install the self server without the KV you can do that as well but I'm gonna be showing you guys that I actually do have an unbanned KV right here and uh, basically all you do is just extract it to your desktop name it kv.bin it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase as long as just as long as it's just named kv.bin and then just go and add that into your or onto the root of your hard drive. It shouldn't ask you guys to overwrite it if you don't have any of these files in here already. It's just asking me, considering I've already had this stuff inside of my, uh, you know, in my hard drive. But anyway, once the KV is on there, I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. Sorry guys, I had to actually restart my microphone. But anyway, um, what you're gonna do next is go into your uh, hard drive on your Xbox 360, and you're gonna go and basically find the uh, launch.ini file, which is the uh, the da uh, uh, file that Dash Launch uses to read, to basically uh, to know what plugins it's loading up and what settings to use. Uh, anyway, what you wanna do is open it up. It's gonna look something like this, and you're gonna wanna scroll down to where it says the plugins here. And yours shouldn't have plugins, or yours shouldn't have the Smokey XKV plugin in. But what you want to do is just go and find the name of the plugin, which is Smokey XKOV. Uh, what I normally do is find the file that I'm actually trying to use, and I go and hit rename, and I just go and copy and paste that into uh, the notepad. Uh, it just makes it a lot more simpler, and you're guaranteed to type it right that way. Um, sometimes I actually like misspell something or just mistype something, or one little thing can make the whole thing not work. But anyway, once you have that down, you're gonna want to go and save the file, and then you're gonna want to go and get the launch to INI and just drag it into your hard drive once again. And once that's dragged into your hard drive, it should basically refresh your plugins. So now that uh, on your, in your dash launch, that plugin should be added to where you've added it. You can also remove plugins doing that as well. But once that's done, you're gonna want to go and just restart your console or uh, reboot cold from the uh, neighborhood. You can also just go and unplug your console or turn it off via the uh, the power button. And anyway, I was having problems with this, so it took me a couple of seconds to get it to work. But as you can see here, I'm gonna show you guys in a couple of seconds that. Um, that it is gonna actually reboot as soon as you uh, turn your console on it's gonna glitch out a little bit considering like I'm using a, a recording program I'm not actually recording the video itself but um let, let's give this a couple seconds here so I'm gonna speed this up for you guys uh, so guys now that I actually sped this up as you can see here it's gonna boot and it should turn off and then it's gonna reboot but it looks glitchy on here considering I'm on my recording program not actually on my screen and as you can see here it should boot and now your server should be loaded and now for some reason sometimes it doesn't read your KV so to actually fix that you gotta go to uh, system storage and go to your hard drive or wherever you're actually loading the plugins from and just clear your system cache three times I honestly don't know why it does this but once you uh, clear your cache three times it should allow you to actually read your KV and so once that's done just go and reboot your console and after that it should definitely work um, I'm gonna actually speed this up for you guys real quick considering it took a while for this to work Now that I actually got this sped up here. It's just gonna take a couple seconds considering my uh, My computer or something was going wrong here It took me a while to actually get my my console to reboot But once it reboots as you can see it's gonna happen in like a second there it goes um, It's gonna reboot or it's gonna boot on and it should prompt you to a welcome message as soon as you get on your uh, your dashboard as you can see here um, it is a bit glitchy because I'm on my recorder, 
but as you can see it says ahoy sailor and I'm gonna get a welcome message to the server now it does depend what server you're using obviously if you're using a different server you're gonna get a different stealth message but anyway once you get these messages you can just go create a profile and go online and yeah that is basically it now there isn't really much more to know about this this is all really simple to do if you have a computer and USB sticks and you have a little bit of knowledge you should be able to do this but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you go subscribe and leave a like on this video as I am trying to build a following. Uh, make sure you comment down below if you need some help. I will answer as many questions as possible. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.